the deep breaths that you're taking in as you go into your stance with the soft hip, knee, feet on the ground, relax the shoulders, seal, salutation, stay connected. From top, coming all the way through the lungs, through the shoulders, the heart, sternum, the breasts, making sure everything's coming intact with flow. We got the under the rib cage into the belly, the hips. You have the knees, knees. We want the feet to be flat on the ground, not pronated in and on the inside of the knee, knee maintenance, hip. So we can build and create strength and flow, natural flow through the body. If you're dropping, then you are working the muscles and you can be closing off flow. And so it does opposite of building a full strong body. You're cutting yourself off there a little bit. So what you want to do is start working on opening, opening the hips. It gets tight here. Now, if you feel anything in your lower back, keep lifting the spine and let that stomach, that stomach hold. That stomach is partner with the spine and the height of your body. So you're feeling this lengthening happening. You're going to go down a little bit further. Now, instead of tightening and holding yourself up, let it balance. You got your front side, your back side, you're bringing it together. You have your waistline, you got both sides, you're bringing it together with a seal salutation, sun salutation, seal salutation, and hold. Windmill, let the flow open up the space. Opening up your gall bladder. Meridian, I want to keep breaking down our fats. I want to make sure we digest the fat that we're eating because that is really good stuff when you have good fat. It supports the nervous system and the bones and the kidneys. So we want everything flowing. Seal salutation, come down a little deeper. Hands, mid, thigh. Yesterday we were doing a drop and hold. What we're going to do is we're going to single out. We're just going to go right, left, right, left. So it's not a it's not a true hold. So we're going to drop to the right, bring it up, drop the left, drop the right. Bring it up, drop the left. And you're going to find that it could be your hips, your back that are tight. It could be your inner thigh. But this is a full body flow. Now notice I stopped cueing how fast you're doing it. So don't worry about my pace. What you want out of this is that you get to go down in a way that feels good as a release for you. You're starting to listen to your body and the pace, your cadence, your vitality rhythm that helps you release and recenter your body. Now, when you're ready, bring it center. So make sure you've done both sides for the same amount of times. You're going to roll it up. Now, knees are soft. They're not totally straight and locked. You're going to hold it here. Speak to your lower back. Drop the tailbone. Now let the energy flow. Top of the head. Toes. Top of the head. Fingers. Top of the head. Toes. Keep everything flowing. To your corners. Smoothly go to the right. Smoothly go to the left. Smoothly go to the right. There, now you have your cadence. Now what we're doing here is strengthening 
balancing, not muscling it out. We're smoothing it out. Smooth. Smooth. You're having me dance again. I know. See now you're see now you're calling it out right. I, you've been calling it all wrong stuff. Skating <laughs> and yoga. No, it's all been dancing for you, Mary. Just so you know. Now we're gonna go higher. So I want those the lymphatic system to like really give space here, so it opens up. So you're feeling the underarm open up. Let the mind be there. So now you're connected with the body. You can start feeling if there's any questions about if there's aches and pains. You're going to feel stuff. And sometimes you realize how strong your body is. You just don't realize it. When you start moving it around, you get your awarenesses. Bring it center. Round out the arms. Bring the hands together. And the mid back is going to push behind you. Now, nice and tall, drop the arms. Good, squat all the way down. Now, hands mid-thigh, back is long. Let's get a release in the lower back. And don't stop until you feel that release. You want to neutralize that back. Let the hands be on the legs. Just like what we did yesterday. Now, we're going to push up through the center of the foot. Hips come forward, no bending through the back, let the hips come forward, chest up tall, sun salutation. Seal salutation, come down into the squat. Come down until you feel the back neutralized, that lower back you want it to neutralize. Center of the foot, push through, legs are getting longer, longer. Now push the hip forward, let the chest lift. Now notice, your head never goes lower than the shoulders. That'll help you because sometimes we have days where our body, especially is getting colder. Now I'm still doing the movement, so you know. But some days, you know, as we're getting used to this cold-er time right now, come into your squat again that the blood needs some extra oomph to get flowing through the body. So you may get a little dizzy. So you want to make sure that the head stays above the shoulders. Sun salutation, seal salutation, hands mid thigh and squat, long back, push through, hips come forward and hold. Squeeze, shoulders open. We've been consistently moving the body here. Now let the body, the heart, do the flow now. We've got the heart woken up. We've gotten things open through the connective tissue. Things open, so spaces where nutrients we're not getting to. Maybe there are some joints that were feeling achy. We opened it up. Talking to the nervous system, talking to the body. We're holding it. Feel the balance. If you start rocking forward and back, it's your nervous system. And you want to work. Work on that flow. Speak to the body. Say, I got gotcha. you. Let the head get connected with that spine. Tell the spine, I got gotcha. you. Ooh, nice. Keep that connected breathing with you. Seal salutation. Keep it with you throughout the day. 
Let it serve you. Those exhales get missed during the day. When we're off about doing our thing through the house or we have to go out and do shopping, whatever it is today, keep the big exhales with you. Too many inhales increase our stress level. We just can't have that. Let's bring our heart, lift it tall through the spine, lift it up, 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 up with everybody and sending out love, nurturing love where there's stress. Let's do this through our community to be able to help people in our community dealing with the stress. Keep lifting. Come together as if we're holding hands, sending extra special care. We already know Laura in our community is dealing with extra stress today. So sending her love. And we're going to add that love from all of us with everyone else. We've been talking about cousins that have passed away. Send love out. We've been talking about John who passed away. Let's bring it and send it out to the family all through. Tamara, who is bringing in energy and finding her vitality, I send out love to you, Tamara. Mom, who has been close to the fires and feeling very cold today. Let's bring her warmth and love. Namaste. Love you, Mary. I didn't have have one for you. Is there a stressor I should be holding on to and sending you yeah, love besides well, the cousins? Well, Is it Jeff? no, Jeff. He's How's doing Jeff really well. He's doing very well. Yeah, yeah, he's doing really good. It's because all your love and niceness is making him go, oh my goodness, I've been with this wife forever and I've been taking her for granted because now oh. she gets to take care of me, yay. Yeah, now he takes care of himself. He's doing too much. Oh. He doesn't let me help him, but he's doing really good. Good. <laughs> yep. He's called the physical mm. therapist today, so. Oh, yay. Today. Good for him. Yeah. Happy so, Friday, <laughs> everyone. We're, we're up sending a little up a lot. Sign. Happy Friday. I love it. Oh, Friday. Tamara, what is, what is that? That is beautiful. Oh. It says love. Isn't that cute? I love it. And some little drawings I do. So oh. That's my... <laughs> oh, maybe I'll... Yeah. This one is what they need in Oregon. Yeah, all over this one. <laughs> exactly. Well, then, we, then that's true. Tamara, can you put that one back up, my friend? The one that we are sending over to Oregon. And a lot of Wow. That's what your mama needs right now. Yeah. Same it's just cooling off, cooling off over there so things can get, get taken care of. I painted it on a rainy day, so uh, it's got rain energy. <laughs> what town does Laura live in? You're so talented. That is really pretty. Oh, oh yeah, those are my little ones. I've got some big ones. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I paint Tamara, quite a while. I look at you. Paint quite a bit. I need to paint more. I was in art Goodness school. Goodness gracious. Oh, wow. Before I got sick. Oh. Well, you are healing, my friend. Let's keep bringing healing to you. <laughs> well, I love, I love you, ladies. <laughs> what town does Laura live in? Um, Brownsville. That's what I thought. Okay, I kept trying to remember. She told me, but I forgot. Yeah, it's a little town, so. Yeah, I've got oh. my map. Oh, who gives you? Love you. <laughs> happy happy, happy Friday. weekend. Have a nice Bye, see you guys. Bye, we'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.